Hi and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create your perfect professional CV or resume using all of the assets in Word and AI. So when you open your software you've got obviously your home tab and then you've got another icon saying new. If you click on new and you may have this page, you may have something slightly different, but you will have a search bar somewhere on your page that says search. So you can click at the top here and type in resume and press enter. And what that will do, it will search the internet for all the templates available to you that are free to use. And as you scroll through, you'll see that there are different types of resumes connected to different roles. So for example, we've got creative food service, we've got office manager, we've got hospitality management. What this means is the content of that CV will be dedicated to that job role, which you can change and I'll show you how. So for example, let's take this resume here and click create. And you can have a good read through this to figure out if it's the right one for you. If not, you can simply go back to the home tab at the top and you can select another one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you not only how to change the elements in here, but also how to make sure that this text is completely relevant to you. So for example, we're going to change this image here. Now there is going to be a problem with this and I'm gonna show you how to get around it. So select it, go up to picture format, and you've got an option here that says change picture. Click on the drop down, and you can select from your files. So most people are going to have an image like this, which is a, it can be a landscape or portrait, but it is not square. So if I select this picture here and click insert, you can see my picture has now been squashed because I didn't have a perfectly square image. And that's because this is a perfect circle, which requires a perfect square. So I'm gonna show you how to correct that. So all you need to do is go up to insert, go to pictures, go to picture from file, you're going to find your picture and then you're just going to click insert. Now, this is going to send everything all across the pages. Don't worry, just leave it. Just grab your picture here, make sure it's selected and then go to crop and click on the drop down. Go to aspect ratio and click on one to one and then just move your picture so it's in the center and then just click enter. Right click and go to save as picture and then you can save it anywhere on your computer. I'm going to save it to my desktop and save it to picture one and click save. I've already saved this, so it's going to ask me to replace it, which is fine. And then just delete it. Once you've deleted it, it'll all come back to normal again and the page will be displayed as it once was. Do exactly the same then. Select the picture, go to picture format, go along to change picture, click on the drop down and select from file. Now in my desktop, I've got picture one, just click insert, and now you can see that my picture's been restored and it now fits nicely into that circle. So once you've done that, we can go ahead and change the obvious sections of this resume. And I'm gonna just change the name. Now in the profile here, you can see that that's already text there that's relevant to the job. Now, if you're just not sure that this doesn't really apply to you or you want to change it, there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can select it all if at least some of it is relevant to you. Copy it by Command or Control C or go up to the Copy icon here in the Home tab. Then go online to Chat GPT. And in here, you can say, please change the following paragraph to include and here you can put something about yourself in there. Let's say punctuality and reliability. Then you can obviously add more things into this if you want to, having read the paragraph and make it sound professional. And then press enter. Chat GPT will then ask you to provide the paragraph. So then you just paste it at the bottom, command and V and then press enter, and then ChatGPT will come up with what they believe you need or you've asked for. You can read through that and check it's exactly what you want. If not, you can ask it to rewrite it, or you can take ideas from this. You can then write it into this section here, and then simply ask it to ensure it's written professionally, and then it will produce a professional sentence or paragraph like this. If you're happy with this, you can copy it. I know you've got this copy icon down here, but I like to actually select just the elements I need, otherwise it copies everything else. 
press Command or Control C on your computer, then select all of this here, then go to Paste, click on the drop down, and just select Keep Text Only, and it will replace it with the text that you had from ChatGPT. This is obviously spelt incorrectly, so we'll just change that. And there you can have that perfectly inserted into this section here. Just working our way down, you can change your contact number. You just simply select it all and then put your own in. LinkedIn, again, you can just simply select the element that you want and just change that as well. And then, of course, the email, change it to your email. And then as you keep scrolling through, you can put all your different activities and interests in here. Now, when it comes to your work experience, again, you can do exactly the same as we did before in ChatGPT. You can either write it yourself and then put it into ChatGPT, or you can actually change this in Word. So, for example, improve staff performance through training, attention to detail. You can add a sentence in here if you want to. You can change things around and take things out. Then what you can do is exactly the same. You just copy it, take it back into ChatGPT and ask it to change the following paragraph to sound professional for a resume. So now I'm just going to show you how to add the paragraph. So just add a dash and then command or control V to add the paragraph and then just press enter. And now ChatGPT will print it all out for you. It's all been changed for you, very professionally sounding. If there's something you don't like, you just change it. And once again, we're just going to select it all, command or control C, go back to the resume, make sure this is all selected, go to paste and simply select keep text only. Then you can just add a return key to split those up. Then you can add all of your education. And again, you can change all of these if you want to. Here we can add or delete any of these. So to delete them, just select it, press the delete key, press the delete key again, and that one will disappear. If you want to add one, just go to the bottom here, press the return key, and it will add a bullet point for you. Then you can add one in. Again, if you're not quite sure about these and these don't really apply to you, then I would go to ChatGPT and write 20 staff skills and characters of hospitality management. Press enter. And as you can see, you've got 20 different options to choose from. And if you like some of these, you can simply just select the sentence, command and control C, go back to the resume. And then you can go back to the bottom here and then go to paste, keep text only. And as you can see, it will add that there for you. You can take these out and add more of those if you choose to. Now, once you've finished your CV, you can see this has jumped to a separate page. And obviously that's sometimes an issue because you want everything on one page. One of the things you can do is actually reduce the size of the text. So you can maybe select just your work experience Go to nine, click on the drop down and select eight. And there you have it all on one page. Now that's one solution. You can obviously see there's a lot of room at the top here and you can go to the rulers. If you can't see the rulers, go to view, select rulers and they shall appear. Click between the gray and white section. You can see your cursor changes and you can pull the margin up. And again, at the bottom, you can pull the margin down and often that will allow you to add more text onto the page to ensure you get it all onto one page. So sometimes you want to add a header or a footer onto this page. It might be that you want to add it that it's your name or a page number. So what you can do is double click at the top or bottom and you can see you've entered into the headers and the footers. Now I like to insert a text box here. It gives me far more flexibility to where I want to put it. So I'm just going to draw out a text box. I'm going to zoom in, but apologies if this jumps around because Word does like to jump back up to the top of the page. So I'm just going to type in resume. And then if I deselect this, you can see I've got this border line around the outside, which I don't want. So select it, go up to the shape format tab and go to this icon here, which is the outline tab and click on the drop down and select no outline. And then I'm just going to reduce the size of the box. 
And now I can simply move this anywhere I want to in my header and footer. And I can zoom out, double click in the center here, and then you can see how it looks and if you like it. If you don't, double click at the bottom again, then you can just move it, double click back in the center and check if you like it there or it's too big or too small. If you want to move it to the top, that's fine. Just simply move it. Let's say you want it at the top here and then double click back inside and you can see it's at the top there. So that's the way you can add your header or footer. Just makes it look a little bit more professional. I'm actually going to move that back down here because I actually like it in this area here because I think this area here is a little bit sparse at the moment. So double click back into the center and I think I'll leave it there. Now once you're happy with this, you can save it as a Word document, but you can also save it as a PDF if you want to. To do that, go to File, Save As, and then down at the bottom here, File Format. I'm sorry, you can't quite see it because it always cuts the line there. It says PDF. Then you can type in exactly what you want at the top. Then you can choose from electronic distribution or best for printing, depending on how you're going to send this. And then just click export. I've got my file on my desktop. So now if I open that file and I'll just zoom out, this is my PDF file and you can see how it's laid out in that PDF. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.